At first, we had to visit behind a glass, a glass window, and it brought flashbacks because the last time I visited behind a glass window was when he was in the county jail back then, a long time ago. They don't do that anymore. But when my daughter was a little baby, she used to visit him through the glass. And she would jump at the glass and she would be looking at him like, Daddy, why won't you get me? And she would just keep jumping at the glass. And she hadn't visited him like that in so long. We had face-to-face -face visits and for years, he had been right in the city, like a couple cities over from me, like maybe 30 minutes away. And now he's in maximum, no visits for almost a year. And when they finally did let us visit, it ended up being once a month behind a glass. Then it went down to twice a month behind a glass, which is really weird. And after that, it was, yeah, it was still every two weeks, but then it was face to face again. So honestly, I hadn't seen him, like honestly, like seeing him touch his hand or anything in like a good couple, two and a half years or so. We just got, had got back our face to face visits, honestly. And now they're gone again because nobody's visiting which is really sad, but, you know, that's how it is now. And I, I'm not going to think about that because that would take me, you know, it's so scary to think that you won't see him anymore, like face to face. It'll just be emails and calls every, any random week because I really don't get calls that often. So, but that's where we are now. But when I could visit, I would get off of work. I would either in the parking lot of my job, I would, you know, sit the seat back and maybe sleep a good two hours, three hours. Or, you know, when it gets really cold, which ain't really too cold to everybody else, but I'm in Florida. So, you know, when it gets about 50 degrees, 60 degrees, that's really cold to me. <laughs> So when it gets really cold and I can't sleep in my car, and plus I got all these herniated discs and crap, everything's going to sleep and it's very uncomfortable sleeping in the car, I would go home and I would go back to that chair situation and sleep in a chair so that I don't, you know, oversleep because it's very uncomfortable. And I jump up, go to visitation. I would drive about three and a half hours to visitation, three hours. It depends on, you know, how fast you're driving and stuff. And I go to visitation and you visit for like two hours at the maximum security. I would drive like three hours to him, visit for like two hours, and then you have to get back on the road and drive back home. Well, driving back home when you're trying to get to that interstate, by the time you're on your way back, traffic is piled up. So it takes forever ever to get home you don't know if it's going to take you two hours three hours or whatever so sometimes it was even all the way up until like seven o'clock that night and i'm still not home and all of that for a two-hour visit but you know when you love someone that that's you do anything if you can get to that person think about that person you love if there was any way you can get to them when you try when you do it when you sacrifice to do it. So get back home. Sometimes I had an hour before it was time to return back to work. Sometimes I had a couple hours. Randomly, I would have the night off. And it was like on my way back home, it was so hard to get home. Like I was pulling over to every gas station, taking five minute naps, which is very dangerous, but that's how it was. And this was my life. Like this was crazy crazy i was burning both ends of the candle it was only a matter of time before that that fell apart i couldn't do that juggling act too much longer and i didn't have to do it too much longer because the shutdown happened and i was in school 
and I was in my last classes. I was supposed to graduate, and later they ended up, you know, they put us out of school. They turned everything to online, and they put the kids out of school. My daughter was out of, she goes to college with me. We're actually college buddies, and they put her out of school, and my nephew, I would have to help him, you know, with his virtual learning. And I had my own learning. So the first half of the week, I would make sure I get my homework out the way. And then the last half of the week, I had to, like, help him with virtual work, like, all day for the rest of the week. And then I had my other little nephew that would be all over my back. I'd be dead tired. i wake up to him on my back and... It was just, it was a lot better, and I was getting a lot more sleep, and it was finally the breath that I needed. I know that is not the case for a lot of people during this season, but for me, it kind of worked out because this was the first time I was able to give my aching body a rest, to not have to push through going to work and you're in pure pain, and to not have to you know, be sleeping in a car. I didn't have to sleep in my car no more. I didn't have to sleep in a chair anymore. So, you know. But all in all, they ended up canceling graduation, this graduation that I imagined for years. They canceled it. And I just, I won't get my stage walk. But, you know, there's a lot of other things going on in life. But, that is kind of a blow, but you got to look at the bigger picture. So I won't get my stage walk, and I ended up not being able to. They gave us the choice to drop the class and retake it in summer, and I, I did not want to do that, but I knew he needed to pass his classes. My nephew needed to pass his classes, and that was more important than me, so... I ended up repeating that class. I, I passed the internship, but and I had another class. I passed those two things, but I had to repeat the last class that I needed to graduate. And that's where we are now. Just a couple of weeks ago, I passed that last class, and I received my degree finally in graphic design. That was drawing my life. My life is long because I'm old, y'all. <laughs> a lot of years, a lot of tears, a lot of laughs, and a lot of, you know, joy. This all mixed together. And this is a new chapter. I don't know where this chapter is going, but I, I hope this chapter, somewhere in it, he's coming home. And somewhere in it, I will have some small success, and I don't need a lot. I really don't, but some sort of success. And we just, you know, I continue to just be grateful and, and thankful for everything that I have. Continue to try to make my mother proud. Hopefully she's looking down and proud of me. And continue to make my dad proud. I, my dad, he's a great man. And... That's all I can do. All right. Thank you for bearing with me forever for this long story. But it was worth it because, look, it took me the last two to three weeks, almost three weeks, to illustrate all these pictures. So hopefully I get a couple of views so that it was, you know, worth the time. Thank you, guys. It's your girl, Cadillac. It's your girl, Cadillac. <laughs> <laughs>